Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. So in my video today, we're actually going to be going to the Reptarium. This is for Vlogmas Day 10. This is for Vlogmas Day 10. Some of you may know that I'm in Michigan right now with some of my friends and some of you may be familiar with someone by the name of Brian Barczyk and he also owns a reptile zoo here in Michigan which is called the Reptarium. So yesterday, myself and my friends had the opportunity to go to it for free and we wanted to check everything out. Um, if you want to hear me talk more about like why we went and what my thoughts were and everything, um, I'll include that all at the end of the video. I know some people probably don't care about that stuff, so I'll put it at the end just so for those of you who want to know more can do it and those of you who don't really care can just click off. <laughs> but anyways, let's go ahead and get into the footage from the reptile zoo and then we will talk a little bit more about it afterwards. Yeah, and, and you don't see that with a normal snake, you only see that with leucistic, so. Getting acquainted with my guy Casper here. Yeah. <laughs> I love this guy, yeah, he's so cool. And when he's, he's out of shit, show. he's just so white and so uh, they're just so cool, but uh, I can't wait to show you guys so much. Maybe you start handling it too much, you'll notice kind of the, the, the food response changes a little bit. And uh, so that's something that we keep a super close eye on. Not just that, I mean the way that they lay, the way that they act, the way the time they spend in the cage, all those things are kind of like tells. Of, of an animal going, all right, I've had too much handling, and then we, uh, but it's not uh, totally unusual for us to take animals off for the entire weekend, where it's just like no handling of this animal this weekend. You know? A male and three female jacksons came over from here. Um, <laughs> like I said, guys, anything here is yours. You know, I mean, like, don't don't be afraid to ask for anything at all. So he's like super, like, chill. You can touch him, pet him, do anything. Oh. Like, he's uh, he's super smart, super. <laughs> My baby went like Jurassic World on me yesterday. Yeah, she tail whips Tori. Yeah, yeah, she tail whips Tori in the head. Did you like jump time? Wander time, like we just like wander around. Mm -hmm. uh, he gets into, he loves getting into Tori's head. Uh, <laughs> uh, that's one thing. They don't, they don't seem to like it. He doesn't like <laughs> another bearded dragon, uh, another baby, and, and kind of messed his eye up. And, and so we took him in like seven years ago, and he's just kind of been my pet ever since. So, um, but he's super, super chill. He's, 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 oh, hi, Angel. I love bearded dragons. They're like, yeah. Yeah, I also you have like one that's. Mine now. Like, uh, yeah, I also have one that's called oh, yeah, Black Cheeto. Island. Yeah, yeah, I just did one. Right. And he'll look at you from the other, you know, he'll turn Aww. his head like, you know, to see you real good. But like I said, he's, uh, he's been great. You know, I mean, like I said, I got him when he was just a little tiny baby. And he's seven now? Yeah, he's seven he's now. Seven. Multifaciata. Mm -hmm. And, um, um. It, these are these are probably one of the rare of the blue mountain mm -hmm. snakes. You won't see these guys around. There's probably less than maybe ten of them in the country. Uh, and I like them the most because I, not only do I think they're absolutely gorgeous, but because they're kind of more. Hi, Belly. They're so much more calm than my big lizard. I think Elvis wants to make mm -hmm. Belly. Oh yeah, we had Elvis. She's on. like, there's no yeah. banana here. <laughs> oh my goodness, hello. I love how she puffs up when you pet her. Oh, 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 He's like, it's time to walk. Oh, it's time to walk around now. <laughs> you say I have one? Yeah, you're 100 percent right. The first year is where they're going to get the majority of the growth. After that, she just wants to come up to the front of the tent. This is actually a, a Europlades uh, fimbriata, or the giant leaf tail gecko, and. Um, wow. I'm just in That's love crazy. with these things. <laughs> She's like, give me a banana, please. I heard the word banana. Yes. <laughs> wow. Do these guys have a display case or did you go Yeah, no, no, you're right down here. Oh, yeah, yeah, you're right down here. And they like it a little cooler. So this is like an area that doesn't get much above. 
there. We made it kind of to look like a tree, like the inside of a tree, because that's, you know, kind of where they're gonna be. Yeah. And so uh, so they just kind of disappear. There's just a pair in here. This is, uh, this is the female, the male. I don't even know where he's at. He's in here somewhere, he's hiding. They're such good camouflage that, uh, oh, here he is right here. Yeah, he's right here. I mean, they just blend right in. It's unbelievable. These years ago, so I've never had a tame one before this. Oh, really? <laughs> yeah. First tame one I've ever had. So, um, so yeah, I was, yeah, I've been bit, unfortunately, more times than I'd like to admit by these guys. But this one is chill as can be. It's such a beautiful. And unfortunately, it's not as pretty because it's in shed. You know, you don't have that iridescence. Yeah. You know, to it, but um, really amazing. Oh wow. Yeah, he's really pretty. Yeah, he's he's just really bright. I know you guys want footage, so I'm like looking at him so I'm trying to angle him. He's pretty too. Oh, I like your eyes. And I do appreciate you guys coming, seriously. I appreciate what you guys do with the community and getting people excited about animals is, uh, is what I love. So you guys do a great job and I know. So cute, it's a little baby. Yeah, and uh, he's, uh, he's a, uh, he's a black dragon, which is the Asian water monster, but a baby. How old is he? He's only about, uh, he's gonna be about three months old. Now. Oh my God. Yeah. They're super cool, but what's interesting is that every evening they'll be right at the front of the cage, but then you can see they're like right up at the top yeah. of the tree over there oh, yeah. in the very back. Um, but yeah, during the day they just kind of, you know, just hide. Yeah. Yeah. This, is a cover. this is a this is a cool cool snake here. This is a rhino. Yeah. Uh, from Vietnam. Um, his name is Pinocchio. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, I know, right? I like the animals. Yeah. And they, 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 they very good. Like, it's just like the weirdest yeah. animal. Colorado is so cheap. I've helped scale this before, but they're really bizarre. Yeah, I do. But these guys are bulletproof. And they're they're easy, easy, easy. Mm -hmm. I almost tripped. <laughs> 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 I'll be good. Times would be really, really fat because people think you got to feed them a lot. In like actuality, like, you'll shorten their lifespan too. tremendously <laughs> if you overfeed them. So but cool. uh, I mean, literally, oh, it's, it's dog tame. Hi, <laughs> Oh wow! So your dwarf so down there heavy. is he adult? Right. It's, it's like nine years old. Really? Yeah. So yeah. Really? yeah. So, yeah. Oh, yeah. 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 That's as big as it gets. So it's not a super dwarf. It's just a dwarf. Like, it's a dwarf. Yeah. Yeah. Um, so a super dwarf. So you can say smaller. Over beast, yeah. I said. Oh. So <laughs> Sorry, Tyler's holding her, and I'm just like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Oh, please, guys. I want to yeah. Yeah. And like I said, if you guys want to open, but yeah, so it's got my heart for sure. Small risk. I think you take the chance, you know, 
know, that being said, we are all, we are, I mean, you see my, my you guys, you guys see like, as a matter of fact, I always will, will, will err on the slide side of, of me, uh, within, within being, obviously, nutritional issues, um, because a big fat animal, Might just run under the cage and then like <laughs> hiss at me. That's Tail me. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Tori. Okay. She didn't get me that. Yeah, I'm glad she did it now. Then come up with me, bud. Oh, oh right. stop it. Oh my god. <laughs> So uh, basically all you want to do is just make sure like he, he thinks you're a tree so when he gets weird I just raise him up and when he's cold you just take him down and that's pretty much it so Tazzy is or uh, um, Nova is just one of the craziest little dudes man. <laughs> <laughs> Your dog again, you know, just like when you guys come, he comes right up to Casey, like, what's going on? I want to know what's up, you know, so he's, uh, I love him. I've never actually seen, oh, wow. my really, I love this dude. How old? Uh, he's going to be three years old. I, yeah, I got him when he was a year old because the people were afraid of him and, uh, <laughs> had him ever since. He is and Ben is the dominant here. He's the left head. Jerry's the right head. <laughs> How do you find? Do you think it affects quality of life at all? Oh, I think I'm not so. Sure if that's I, I like think an off the yeah. camera. No, no, no. I like, think I think that you know, a lot of them. Yes, a hundred percent. You know. Oh, I didn't notice that. Yeah. Oh wow. Wow. That's a big boy. That's a nice. He's got a big old blob of cancer. Yeah. Such a sweetheart. Yeah. She's actually her sister. I had both of these eight years ago. And uh, like I said, she's a, a sweetheart. Uh, she's not so much. <laughs> but I still love her. Even though she's got a bit of an attitude, I still love her. Whereas this girl is just absolutely... How long do we have to wait? How long do we have to wait? Is he just trying to climb? <laughs> So that was it for all of my footage from the Raptarium itself. So now before we end the video, I just want to talk a little bit about it, give my thoughts. So I think like this video in general could be controversial to some people, whether you just like don't agree with zoos or like certain people or whatever. And I totally get that. I feel the same way a lot of the time, but we did have the opportunity to go to the zoo when it was actually like closed for the public. So we got to go just us and take a good look around at everything and we got to go in for free so I'm always like hesitant to go to like zoos in general and like give them my money to like pay for it because it's like if I go and I really hated it I don't want to like hoard it in like a way that I gave them my money so yeah but we got in for free so that wasn't really an issue with me but now we can actually like talk about the zoo itself and what I thought overall I did think that the zoo was actually fairly good I thought a lot of the enclosures were a good size I thought that they were definitely fairly enriching I will say I definitely don't agree with everything that was there but I mean that's totally fine I don't really think every Everyone is ever going to agree with everything that someone else does so well there were definitely things that I didn't totally agree with I think overall that it was fairly good all of the enclosures were clean and they seemed to be fairly decent sizes and they just seemed to be fairly decent setups for the most part which I enjoyed I found that a lot of 
like reptile zoos I've seen in the past are quite questionable and I would say that this one was definitely better than a lot of others that I've seen. The reason why I really personally went to Brian's Zoo to check it out is because I really just wanted to see it for myself. I wanted to see what I thought of the care. Like did I think that the care was good? Did the animals look healthy? Were the setups correct? Like I was curious and I wanted to know and I thought that maybe this would also be cool for some of you guys. Maybe some of you guys are like on the fence like do you like it? Do you not? But like you can't really know because you haven't really seen it. So I thought that it would be good to go for myself because I could see it in person and like get a good opinion and like get a good idea of what goes on there and then I could also show it to you guys so maybe you guys can see like is it something you like? Is it something you don't agree with? Or like whatever like that. So I don't know. That's personally why I went. I wanted to see it for myself and I thought some of you guys might also be interested in seeing it. I do always say that I am a fairly open-minded person and I will pretty well if I see people doing good things with their animals, if I see people improving their care, if I see people doing better. I really always support that despite what has maybe happened in the past. I was happy to see Brian making more changes towards these like naturalistic style enclosures. I will be open and say I don't really agree with everything that he has done but I do think that he is making a positive change when it comes to his animals and improving them into these better cages that they're in now which I definitely support. I definitely support anyone making positive changes. I don't want to talk too long about this, but that was my overall thoughts. Whether you agree or disagree, that is totally up to you. I think everyone has the right to their opinion, so this is just mine and you are totally free to have your own. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video. Hopefully you did enjoy it. If you did, be sure to subscribe to my channel and don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up. Also check out all of my social media. Everything is just MSAM99. It will all be in the description below and yeah. Thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video.